Republic of Nigeria, 2007 to 2015. Your Excellency, Ezra Celeste here, former governor of River State. Right Honorable Ikuni Awaji Bani, Speaker, River State House of Assembly. Your Excellency, may I respectfully request that I stand on the existing protocols. Today's commissioning of the Reactation Center is really special. It is a dream come true. His Excellency's campaign booklet titled A New River State, New Vision, New Thinking, Better Opportunities, and Vision Safety Net for Vulnerable Persons, including their well-being. This complex and its appurtenances are to realize that vision. This has been in existence, this project, this center has been in existence for 22 years. The old facility was dilapidated and inadequate as it was encumbered with a plethora of glaringly evident structural and services inadequacy. There was, a, there was no sick bay. There was lack of vocational training rooms incessant flooding, leaking roofs, and major structural defects that led to increased health, re health risks for the residents. Noting this aberration, His Excellency intervened by approving the reconstruction and remodeling of the center in August 2020. The funds for the project were promptly released, and we are here today to witness the commissioning of a transformed functional center in addition, His Excellency has facilitated the construction of the access road to this edifice. Without fear of any contradiction, this purpose-built ultra-modern rehabilitation center holds an unparalleled first position in comparison with any other rehab center in Nigeria. It is situated on 14,000 square meters of land in a serene environment the complex comprised of an administrative building, hosting offices for staff, vocational training rooms, an ICT room, and a conference hall. It is fully furnished with office equipment and air conditioning units. A service building made up of a kitchen, dining hall, and a laundry room with appropriate furnishing. Staff quarters consisting of 17 and suite rooms with kitchenettes and a common room area fully furnished. Fully furnished hostels for male and female, violent and non-violent residents, recreational facilities, a sick bay that has two consulting rooms, a six bed ward and a pharmacy. The furnishing of the medical center has been supported by the River State Ministry of Health. A 150 kVA generator to power the complex. The generator is on right now. The remodeled rehab center, the rehab bay will facilitate social, vocational and psychiatric rehabilitation proper reintegration of residents, their families, and society, and to provide institutional support for the River State Lunatic Vagrant Confinement Law. Your Excellency, indeed, you have assiduously served the good people of River State in all spheres and sectors, irrespective of status. There is a clear, improved developmental leap in the provision of infrastructure and amenities for our people. I express my sincere gratitude to Almighty God who has enabled us to witness this landmark occasion of transformation in the social welfare sector. I pray that the good Lord will open the eyes of the pretentious blind to behold the beauty of Your Excellency's good works. Thank you for listening and God bless you. Your Excellency's distinguished ladies and gentlemen, for the, for the remarks on behalf of the contractor, may I invite Mr. Toye Bestman, representing OCEI Construction Limited. Your Excellency, His Excellency, the Governor of River State, Yeso is a wiki, CON, GSSR, POS Africa. Our Excellency, Dr. Ipalibo Arebanigo, GSSR, Deputy Governor. Our Excellency, Senator Sena Kure. Your Excellency, may I rest on the existing protocols? Your Excellency, precisely 10, 10 months ago, we were awarded the contract to reconstruct the rehabilitation center. Today, we have delivered the said assignment given to us by the state government. When we came here, we met flooded premises and the dilapidated building and structures. Today, by the grace of God, with the total support of the state government, 
we have been able to rebuild and furnish and equip the rehabilitation center. We have also done extensive work on the landscape of this facility to ensure that we put to an end the flooding that was making this rehabilitation center inhabitable. Today, by God's grace, it is very habitable externally and internally. We have also provided street lightning in, in the premises to ensure that every part of this facility is visible at night. Once again, Your Excellency, we thank you and the state government for trusting us with this magnitude of projects and we pray and we trust to deliver more in the nearest future. Thank you very much. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, to give a speech, may I respectfully invite the Governor of River State, His Excellency Esso Ezemowike, C-O-N, G-S-S-R-S, Car of Sports, Africa. Your Excellency, our special guest of honor, from our first lady, United States. You're moving your camera now. Senator, 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 the Excellency, the Deputy Governor of the State, the Excellency, the former Governor of the State, the Right Honorable Speaker, the State House of Assembly, the former Deputy Speaker of the House of Representatives, the former Minister of Transportation, Chairman, former Deputy Governor of my State, Chairman, Board of Trustees, Western Branch, Anything I can find, the last privilege, anything I can 
of science to bring over people who may not have the privilege, the access to change their life, but for government to look into them. And so we decided that you should be the one today to come here and commission this edifice. We want to sincerely thank you, Your Excellency. Your Excellency, you know in life, like I've said, building roads alone is not enough. Building health center alone is not enough. Building education alone is not enough. Any government that does not take care of the underpin of the last privilege, that does not take care of those who may not have access to education and health, that government is doomed to fail. You have heard what the Honorable Commissioner for Social Welfare said. You have heard what our brothers and sisters have come to display practically for us to understand the importance of what we are doing today. Some people may be drug addicts, yes. Must we allow them to die? No. They may have been, they may have taken to drugs because of maybe our own fault. Some people lack that parental care, but will take them to all kinds of life vices. Why do you blame them? Why do you blame them? Society must provide for them. We must not allow. Some of them will have been the best if they were in school. Some of them will have been the best if they are working. So you need to provide a place. Look at even people who have no cause. You have seen a young girl that was raped, and she was our first. She's finishing her life. What does she do? She needs a place where they can cancel her, where they can talk to her, where she cannot come back to life. I said, look, that's not the end of life. I have to move on. And that's what the Minister of Social Welfare is doing. I will continue to do. Anybody who knows me not too well. I'm not one who likes to praise people. I like people to do their work. When you do their work, obviously I will appreciate and praise you. I want to talk to the Home Commissioner for Star Wars. I'm indeed well pleased. I'm indeed well pleased. Well pleased. With what I have seen here today, it means I do not make a mistake of appointing the Commissioner for Social Welfare. Anybody who has looked at the bookshop, if you have seen the bookshop, look at what it was, the state it was. Look at the bookshop, look at what it was, and see what it is today. Whether you like the person or not, you must come clearly to say, my brother, my sister, whoever is involved, the person has done uh, well. And that is the way we must be. I have told anybody, if we have a position, if we have a position, to the glory of God, to turn God Almighty, God, for you that are giving me this position, what do I do? I want to have to do is to say, God, thank you. And thank you, God. Let me also make sure I do something for people to see. I'm very, very much impressed. Very much impressed. When I say very much impressed, I'm very much uh, impressed. Ah. And that is the way I approach. That is the way. It does not matter what anybody wants to say. Is that this is if you don't do well, you don't do well. If you have done well, you have done uh, well. That is my life. And I tell people, who will come here and will not have you? This is where people who have been harassed, people who are one way or the other because of our own fault, what society fault, they are found and say where they are. They have no hope. But with this, they will have hope. With this, they will come back to society. And if somebody has come to put it together, and to have the government and the government of the state to achieve this, we must be thankful to them, to God first and to the people, the team. And to the local contractor that have done this, I'm impressed, very much impressed with what I've seen. I've told everybody who cares. I've told people in life, in life, it's not only those who are in authority, those who are in office, as a contractor, as a local unit, show yourself. 
So, but if I hear one day, police came here, so I came here that they didn't have money, there was no light. Of course, their job is online. That, of course, you know, they're doing uh, what they do. I want people to direction. And address, and even without going in, I'm impressed. Because you see, from outside, you know what inside will uh, be. If outside is bad, of course, inside will be worse. So, thank you very much for keeping the faith, supporting our supporters. So, our special advisor, I mean our special guest of honor, you are one of the good ambassadors of the party. Whether anybody likes it or not, whether anybody likes it or not, you are the first woman who have brought here to commission the project. And it's very symbolic. Because for me, it is not a sentiment, it is not propaganda, whether I like the person or not, nobody can show me based on propaganda. Nobody can show me based on sentiment. I'm a cool headed person. I know what I want. I know what is good for my people. And I know what is good for the party. You are here today so that when you go back, you'll be able to tell the people all these things you are saying that are not going on. Look, I went there myself. Oh, I, I was the one who commissioned it. You mean if you're the other person, I've been blind. You too, are you blind? Zan and Kure, I know, former first lady, senator, who will come, who will not say anything, and then she will go and say, I saw. No, you will not be helping the public. You will not be helping our party. So we say, come. From the north center, you come. And see whether what you have been saying, what people are saying, is it correct or not part of their propaganda? Because you know, these days you have a lot of uh, 3Ds. They can invest on first ladies, they show them 3Ds. This is the way it is. The way it will be is not the way it is. Here, but not how it is. Not how it will. Uh, so, I want to thank you for coming. And to urge you to please come, talk to your people, talk to your husband, friend, who has supported us very well. And you too, as a distinguished senator, and somebody who has been forefront to make sure that PDP takes over control in 2023 to the glory of God in China. Thank you, and God bless you.
commission a project, but if I've been alive and healthy to come and see for myself what I've been hearing. Because, sir, it is true. Sometimes we sit down and we watch these things. We don't go into details to know whether they are true or not. But I have friends, and I have my leaders. My principal was here not too long ago, Senator David Mark, and he wouldn't be here if nothing serious is happening in River State. I must tell you. <laughs> Chief Dele Momodi is a friend. He was here. And I'm following all the uh, documentary that he has been doing on River State. Jindede Momotu is a friend, somebody that certainly will not patronize anybody for anything. He says it as it is. I've been following him. And then Your Excellency, it might interest you to know that I've been an ardent follower of your activities right from the time that you were Minister of State in the Education Ministry. You are a Minister of State to a lady, Professor Luka Ya, who was then the Minister. You worked so very well with her. You know what it is to be a Minister of State under a woman. But you worked wonderfully well with her, your footprints on your achievements. We still remember. Then, sir, the excellence, when you were to be made a governor here, you decided to pick a woman to be your deputy. I mean, most of us women respect you if you don't. Know. Not only did you pick a woman as your deputy, that we know what happens between governors and their deputies, even if they are men. Men. But right from the time you picked her, nobody has had any of the friction between you and the deputy. It shows how gender sensitive, how gender friendly you are. And of course, how passionate you are and tolerant you are of the development of River State due to the whole nation. I have said you are a passionate and loyal member of our party. And I have said to you that I have watched all the commissioning that have been taking place right from towards the end of last year up until now. And I have seen that the people that have come here cut across the nation and they even cut across parties I mean, it's not everybody that will do what you have done the day a colleague of my husband was here to commission projects your predecessor, your boss Dr. Peter Odidi, His Excellency I watched with passion I didn't do anything, I watched the program all through life Sir, it has shown who you are. And I want to congratulate River State people for not making any mistake by having you as the governor. And in one of your presentations, sir, I listened when you said whoever will take over from you is not your interest. We are not going to determine who will take over from you. You leave it to the people to be. You leave it to the people to decide who will take over from you. But I have to say to River State people, please, when it is time to take a successor to this passionate developer, to this passionate infrastructure man that you see, to this passionate come and see yourself, to this man that was just recently, not just, not almost, I mean, 30 minutes ago, was described as somebody that gives more than he takes. Please, look and look inward wisely. Consult and consult and consult wisely. Because I believe whoever is coming 
after she faced some wicked, His Excellency will consolidate on what has been achieved already and may possibly just be thinking of how to maintain what they have met on ground. Your Excellency, congratulations for your achievements. And just like you have rightly said it here, of course, development is not only about roads, about public health centers. Who are those that will use the roads? Who are those that will go to school? Who are those that will use the public health centers? You need healthy young people, healthy human beings, because believe you me, sir, the state in which this country is in now, with what we are experiencing, not only the young ones are depressed, not only the young ones need rehabilitation, the very old ones too, there are most of them, that need rehabilitation and they need such centers where they can go and, and have uh, a new direction. The guidance and counseling is going to be um, I mean, provided here. Not only rehabilitation, there will of course be skills acquisition here. Because I listened quite passionately to the commissioner when she was making her presentation, and I mentioned to His Excellency, uh, the former governor, that the speech is short and concise and it's all encompassing. Because if you didn't listen to any sentence, you would have lost on the points that she brought up. Of course, there are a lot to be achieved here. And I want to thank you most sincerely on her behalf, on the ministry's behalf, on and on behalf of the diverse people for the grant so given. Because honestly, there will be a lot of work here, but at, uh, just like somebody said, and even in the presentation here, the results of what you have been doing will not only be visible now, 20, 30 years to come, it will be visible. And for those saying that it's propaganda, you are only using more money on the uh, commissioning than what is on ground. I mean, when you leave office, they will say we have lost somebody that has really been doing a good job for River State. Congratulations. And I'm happy to be here. I've seen so many, even those that are not commissioned, those that have been commissioned before, I saw them because I applied to the roads yesterday from the airport to the residence and from there to this place. In fact, when we are coming here, I didn't even know that the rehabilitation of the road leading to this center was done because the center was being rehabilitated and it didn't it fit to have a road here. I've seen it. I've seen it. Nobody can pull the roads away. We have seen it. Congratulations. And may God continue to give you the insight because just like you are commissioning, you are making a lot more commitments. God will help you. And I know River State people will say that, thank God, we had His Excellency to win some wiki in place as our governor. Congratulations, sir. And I'm humbled for being invited to come and be a witness to history of River State. But one thing I want to remind the MCs here, they mentioned everything. They talked of me being former first lady, being a senator of the Federal Republic. They have forgotten that I'm the daughter of Niger Delta. Because when you say Niger Delta, you cannot say Niger Delta without mentioning Niger. So I'm part of it. Thank you so much for the I appreciate it.
Ayala Okure, CON, permission, please rehabilitation center to the glory of God. Excellencies, let me read what is on the plaque. The River Station Rehabilitation Center was built by the administration of His Excellency Chief Barista Nelson Esenwo Wiki, C O N T S P R P I mean R S P O S Africa. Wiki Honor Ipere. Executive Governor of River State and commissioned by myself, Senator Zena Babilgadi Kure, CON, on this day, 2nd of July 2021, to the glory of God. Excellent, welcome to the administrative floor. Of the rehabilitation center, we will take a brief tour of this block. We have five letters of the point, and um, this is the matron's office. This is the matron's office. We already have the matron's office, and um, it's her office. The office after this one will be taken out of the